So in the last uh, 15 years, we have discovered a huge number of exoplanets, uh, and uh, I'm very much interested to find out how these exoplanets form in the disks around young stars. And not only that, but also how the atmospheres of these exoplanets are related to the chemical evolution and the physical evolution in these protoplanetary disks, how we call them. So I think one of the very interesting questions is, of course, how we transit from non-living uh, matter to living matter. And uh, one of the very interesting areas of research will be to find out how complex uh, molecules form under the environment of these disks and how these complex molecules are actually transported to early Earths or other Earth-like planets and how then uh, more uh, complex uh, materials can develop and if this is really uh, the origins of life as we know it uh, on Earth. I think this is a long program, there's nothing uh, we will solve in a couple of years, but if you ask me what is my long-term vision, it's really to connect the conditions on these Earth-like planets uh, with the formation of life. I think it's very important that uh, astronomers are supported by lab astrophysics groups. Uh, just to give you an idea, one of the big issues in planet formation is how the small particles grow to larger sizes. And we were actually among the first groups to study this process in the laboratory and to find out at which velocities these particles stick together and this is now continued in other groups and uh, I think we now have a pretty good understanding how that works and we can put that back in our models and compare that with our observations. So this uh, interaction between observations, astrophysical models and lab experiments is really essential to make progress, at least in our field.